Hey, this is Jeff, and we are here with USP Pro. In this video, we will look at how to customize the names of custom fields. So custom, custom fields are the topic of this video. Let's get into it. Here we have USP Pro installed and activated. So we can head over to USP Forms. And I've already set up a form here that displays three custom fields, one, two, and three right here, one, two, and three. And for more information on how to do that, please check out the previous videos on custom fields. So here, what we want to do first is see what happens if we just submit the form like this using the default values for our custom fields. So we preview the form on the front end, and we see our fields here. Let's call this test post one. And we will call each custom field CF1, CF2, and CF3. Submit. And we have success. So let's go to posts. And here is our test post number one. We scroll down to the custom fields panel. And we see the names of the custom fields right here for CF1, CF2, CF3. This is what we typed in. So again, these are the default names that are assigned to our custom fields by USP Pro. And in the previous video, we looked at how to customize just the prefix. You can get more information on that. But in this video, we want to customize the entire thing. Uh, not just the prefix, not just this part, but the entire custom field name. So how do we do that? How do we customize this name? This is how we do it. First, we head over to USP Pro Settings, go to the Advanced tab, and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here we see it, Custom, Custom Fields. And now we can, basically this registers the names that we want to use for our custom fields. And we can register them as optional fields so that the user does not have to fill in the field in order to submit the form or we can register them as required fields so that the user does have to uh, fill in the fields to submit the form. Let's make our custom fields required. And what names do we want to use? Well, it can be anything. But for this example, we will say favorite movie, favorite songs, and favorite shows. So we now have three custom fields that we are going to use, and we can use these on any form, anywhere in USP Pro. All we have to do is register them here. So this is the first name, second, and third. So we have three custom fields that will be required. These names, we click Save Changes, and we want to scroll back down because after we entered these and saved our changes, we can now enter labels for these names. And these labels, are basically human readable versions. So for favorite movie, for example, we would type out favorite movie in a human readable way. And that these are used for um, error messages, email alerts, and things like that. So here we have the second one, which is favorite songs and favorite shows. So here are human readable labels for our three required fields. And that's all there is to that. We can scroll back down and take a look. Movie, songs, and shows, movie, songs, and shows. So we're good. Now that they have been registered with the plugin, we can come back to our form and use them. So here's how. Vertical bar means we're going to add a new attribute. And this attribute is the name attribute. And we have favorite shows. And here we have the name attribute is favorite movie. And here we have the name attribute favorite songs. So shows, movie, and songs. Remember to click update like that. And that's pretty much all we need to do. And we can take a look at the form on the front end. Here we have our form. We'll call this test post A. 
and we will call these just something simple, CF1, CF2, and CF3. So with the form filled out, we click Submit, and Success, we head over to Posts, and here it is. So let's see if our custom field names are working, and here is Favorite Movie, Favorite Shows, and Favorite Songs. So yes, everything looks great. We've just created three custom fields with custom names that are not prefixed with USP custom or anything else. So these are pure unadulterated custom field names that you are now using with your custom fields. And they can be anything as long as they are registered here under the advanced tab under custom custom fields. And that's really all there is to it. For more information you can click here and also head over to Plugin Planet where you'll find a tutorial on custom custom fields and it sort of walks you through and provides more information. So that does it for this video. Thank you for stopping by and stay tuned for more.